Hey up guys, Bravely and I here and welcome to episode number one, episode numero uno, the very first episode on a brand new series on the channel. Today we are starting Pokemon Conquest and this main menu is really short so I'm going to press start right now. But we are starting Pokemon Conquest, which is my favourite ever, ever, um, spin-off Pokemon game. Uh, if you don't know what Pokemon Conquest is, it is a combination between the between two different franchises, the Pokemon franchise and the um, Nobunaga's Ambition, I believe it is called, franchise. Um, it is a turn-based strategy game. I understand that that might not be for everybody, but... Oh, it still does it anyway. Right, skip that, skip that. <laughs> that was a good start to the series. Uh, yeah, so it is a, a, a turn-based strategy. Like I say, I understand that that's not like normal Pokemon, so all the people, some people might not like it. But personally, I absolutely love Pokemon Conquest. It is my favourite spin-off game in the Pokemon franchise. So, without further ado, we are going to start um, this brand new series on the channel. I am a boy. This is right. And uh, my name is Leon. So for those of you who uh, have not watched anything on the on the channel so far, um, my name is Leon. Uh, I brave a Leon heart. Uh, I primarily do Pokemon content uh, with a little bit of stuff on the side here and there as well. But primarily I do Pokemon content. Normally doing Nuzlocks and things like that. But every now and again we dabble into a spin-off game. And this is the third spin-off game that we've done on the channel. Yeah, we've done Mystery Dungeon and we've done Trading Cards, so it's the third one. Um, I am, generally speaking, I do um, PG content. Um, and yeah, we're just here to have a good time. So if you are new to the channel, I do apologise for this sound. I believe it's only for this part. But yeah, if you are if you are the new to the channel, please subscribe. Please um Give me a like rating, give me all of that, comments, I do appreciate every comment and I reply to every comment that I get. So, yeah, we've got this beautiful intro. The Legend of Ransai will be reborn. Now, if you're wondering, this sim, um, become a warlord. All of this is going on on the top screen, but that's the smaller screen, because most of the actual action takes place on the bottom screen of this game. So, do apologise. Let the battle begin. Do apologise for the fact we've got a big black screen in the middle, but it's just generally a black bottom screen at the moment. I guess the bottom screen can't really handle that sort of quality. But yeah, most of it is done on the bottom screen like this. So, we're in the Kingdom of Aurora. And there, there I am, with a, a beautiful Eevee. Hmm. Ah! So, this is Aurora's new warlord. Hey, is that an Eevee? That's a Pokemon you don't usually see around here. Hmm. Oh! <gasps> Hey you! You're Leon, right? Aurora's new warlord! We're from Ignis. That's the kingdom next to this one. And we've come to challenge you to a battle! Huh? Alright, so straight away, it doesn't... doesn't hold anything back here on Conquest. You go straight into your first battle. A little tutorial battle. Okay, let's take off, Tepig! So we've got a Tepig and a Bidoof. So if you've not played Conquest before, this is um, basically it. And if you play Fire Emblem, it's a little bit similar to Fire Emblem. Um, so victory condition, we've got to defeat all enemies. Defeat condition, all allies are defeated. And we've got 20 turns in which to win. Which in the, in this this battle's a little tutorial, so you kind of you can't lose. Huh. <laughs> There's only one of you, this is gonna be easy. Aurora's as good as ours. Please wait! 
I'll fly with you! Huh? Well, the more the merrier. Join forces if you like, it won't make a difference. So they started by advancing a little bit. Is this your first battle, Lord Leon? Please let me help you. Okay, first things first. Movement, like this, see? I need to actually come up with a better voice for her. Because she's in it all, all, uh, all the way through the game. Okay, now it's your turn, Lord Leon. Press the A button to select TV. And then... That's a, so we can move in any of those tiles where um, where the, the blue stripiness is going on. Uh, and it wants us to move next to the Jigglypuff. So that's nice. That's easy. So like wait to wait there and end to the end of your turn. Okay. So it's their move now. Well, I feel sorry for you having just become a warlord and all. But you're going to have to leave that castle in Aurora before you even settle in. So they're advancing a little bit, but... If these people take our castle, Aurora will be... Alright, leave this one to me. So Jigglypuff's going to use his double slap and just smack that menu for around. See you later. I remember this. You... Oh, hang on. He used the lower one. I remember this, you know. Don't think I won't. You deal with that one, Lord Leon. Okay. So, we've got a select TV. Move to a square that's adjacent to an enemy. Okay. Now's the time, Lord Leon. You have to fight. Okay, we'll fight. Please set the direction in which to attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll go that way. So, straight away we got a powerful quick attack off. Huh, what? I remember this, you know. Aurora Castle belongs to us. You're strong. Much stronger than they said they, you'd be. What are we going to do now? Lord Hideyoshi's going to be mad. Never mind that. Let's just get out of here. Hmm. Your link with Eevee, Lord Leon. It's already so strong. You might just be the one. That's vague. That's nice and vague. You might be the one. So yeah, this screen here is all about like the strength of your Pokemon. You got a, a bond between yourself and your Pokemon. And every character has a bond, and they've got Pokemon which they can bond with better and worse and things like that. So at the moment we've got a 14%, 14.56% bond with both of these, which is, you know, not very good. Obviously, it goes up to a maximum of a hundred. But it affects, these little numbers are your, essentially your stats. So you've gone up from 46 to 64. So that means that 18 damage that we were doing with uh, with Eevee before has just gone up. So they've just retreated to Ignis. You're a natural in battle, Lord Leon. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Uichi. I've been on a journey with Jigglypuff here, but, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to join your army, Lord Leon. Would you be willing to have me? You don't get a choice. It's, it, it offers it as a choice, but you don't get a choice. <laughs> Thank you. As a warrior, I will give my all in your service. But it is a worry. Seems that the flames of conflict have finally reached Aurora as well. So, the Ransire region, an area inhabited by warriors, those privileged few capable of communicating wordlessly with Pokemon. In Ransire, there is a tale of yore passed down from generation to generation. If any one warlord can conquer all 17 kingdoms of Ransire, then the Pokemon that created Ransire shall reveal itself. The warriors of the land all believe that this tale is true, indeed it is what drives them all. As a result, countless battles are fought for control of the kingdoms of Ransai. Lord Leon, if we're going to help you defend the kingdom of Aurora, then Jigglypuff and I are going to have to become much stronger. But first, let's take a look around the kingdom of Aurora. 
Okay, so we can save. Even save during battles or training. Alright, so we've got to have a loot round Aurora. Let's enter Aurora then. Lord Leon, there's a... Oof! Move, you're in my way. I'm sorry. There's a farm not far from here, Lord Leon. I'm sure there'll be some wild Pokemon there. Let's go and do some battle training. Okay, let's let's go and do some battle training. So we've got to send these two. All right, so straight away you got you got to it shows you that you've got to do some training, and now we can control the two others. I, I believe I believe it allows us to control Jigglypuff as well now. You're the warlord of this kingdom, Lord Leon. Jigglypuff and I will follow your orders. So what do you want us to do? Pokemon of your allies can be moved in the same way as Eevee. Try to work together on the battlefield to claim victory. Alright. So, I kind of don't want to go too far. Because that Starly is going to be able to attack me. Alright Jigglypuff, let's do our best for Lord Leon. I'm going to go there. It'll allow me to attack this the Bidoof after as well. Provided he doesn't try and go after Eevee. Which he doesn't. So we only take two damage from that, but... You do know what abilities are, Lord Leon. Eevee has one called Celebrate, and Jigglypuff has one called Lullaby. Abilities are something each Pokemon has... They are automatically activated during battle when certain conditions are met. You can view the abilities that each Pokemon has by selecting Info under Menu. So, if I go Menu, Info. So we can see... Um, oh, hang on, it's going to ask me to do R. I don't actually know the, the button combination for that. I don't know the button for that. I just try to load something. So, yeah, I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out, because we might need that. I figure we might need that button. Pretty sure you do more damage if you tap from the back. If I remember rightly, you do more damage if you attack from behind. That was a crit. So, yeah, there's, there's Eevee's um, ability coming into play. It allows us to move again if uh, if Eevee defeats uh, a Pokemon. Jigglypuff looks so happy to be slapping that Bidoof. The lullaby just randomly puts things to sleep, which is uh, that's always nice. Eevee gave his quick attack, and that's not the end. I thought that would be the end. There we go. So you don't get a whole lot from that, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit of something. Eevee and Jigglypuff are both looking a bit stronger, aren't they? The bar between a warrior and a Pokemon is known as a link. The more time they spend together, the stronger this link becomes. This will make Pokemon more powerful as well. You and Eevee must be tired after that battle, Lord Leon. And Jigglypuff is looking pretty worn out too. I think we should take a little break. A warrior can only do battle with their Pokemon or take them to visit a location once in a month. When all of the warriors in your army have moved, select next month to advance to the next month. So we can advance to the next month. Uh, what voice can I give this guy? Kuroku! No, hang on. Kuroku? Kuroku in his lot. Useless! Losing against a complete beginner like that. They need to get their act together. I'm not letting them mess things up for me now. I've got to make the kingdom of Aurora mine. So, in February... Oh, I thought Ignis was going to attack that. 
I figured that they were. Strength of 145, and we've got a strength of 142. So technically, we um, we do win that. F well, we can win that fight. We don't really win it, but we've got less stronger Pokemon. I feel like I'm just going to train again. Huh. Look, Lord Leon. That place looks like it'll be full of wild Pokemon. Might be a good idea to do a little training. So we've got a ravine where there's a Wooper and a Meowth waiting for us. Or we can go to the farm where there's a Wooper and a Bidoof. So let's go to the ravine because I think that's where we're supposed to go. We'll get this battle done. And then I think that'll be the end of episode 1. And then we'll start the actual main plot of the game. In the next episode. Look Lord Leon, over there. It's a Wooper. If I recall correctly, Whoopers have the water gun move. Some moves like water gun allow you to attack a wide area. Each Pokemon has a set move they can use, so be sure to think about your tactics before entering in battle. So I'm going to have to go with Jigglypuff first, I think, because otherwise um, Eevee will block the bridge. Don't steal that arm. I want that arm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I should have fought them. Mm, that's a shame. It's a little bit annoying that I didn't do that, actually. I was about to say, is the Weeper going to jump down and, and try to attack me? Try to attack both Pokemon, but he didn't. Oh, we got a bit lucky there. Both of those attacks missed. That was a bit lucky. Lullaby takes down the Meowth. Beautiful. So we're going to fight this Meowth now. I love this game. This game, when it, when it properly gets going, this game is, is just properly filled with strategy. And yeah, it's just such a good game. It's well worth playing. If you guys have not played Pokemon Conquest, I really recommend you go and pick it up. Oh, we'd narrowly miss out on the KO there. Are you alright, Jigglypuff? Lord Leon, at times like this you should select the warrior option. You see, battles aren't just about telling your Pokemon where to move and when to fight. It's a warrior's job to help you find out, help out their Pokemon on the battlefield. You can use items, and you can use warrior skills. You may not be fighting yourself, but you and your Pokemon are a team. Working together with your Pokemon in battle is what truly means to be a warrior. My warrior skill is Sweet Song. It can be really helpful when you're in a bind. Warriors can help their Pokemon in battle by using the various warrior skills. Warrior skills can only be used once each every and in every battle or training session. Um, so what's the X button? Is it? It's that. Top speed significantly increases range, which is always nice. But we don't need that. We don't need that right now because we can take down this uh, Meowth nice and nice and easy. Oh, we get celebrate as well, so we can move and get that out. Get a fragment, whatever a fragment does. And there we go. There we go. We take down the Wooper, giving us the victory over the wild Pokemon again. Fragment often carried by wild Pokemon can be sold at the shop. Oh, so it's just a sellable item. Okay. Yeah, that allows us to advance to the next month once more. So Ignis didn't want to do anything again, but in between like each month, after you finished all of your stuff, all of the other um, 
uh, kingdoms around you will also do their moves. So they might attack me, they might um, attack somebody else, you know, all things like that. Are you there? <laughs> You're Leon, right? Hey, Mitsunari! Mit Mas Mitsunari! Masanori! Leave them alone! Come on, Kiyomasa! I'm gonna get really annoyed by the Japanese names, by the way, the Japanese sounding names, because I won't be able to pronounce them. Do apologize for anybody who uh, who can pronounce them right. We need to have a word with these guys, and they won't know what they're doing. Yeah, we hear you're training po your Pokémon a lot, but what for? What can you two hope to achieve? Ah, uh, I. Well, they're right, you know. You have to do more than train. Eventually, you're gonna need to challenge another kingdom to a battle. If you win that, you can get some more warriors and Pokemon to join you. Strengthen your army and win battles. Those are the tasks of a warlord. But I'm sure you know that much, right? Uh, well, I... Well, Leon, if we really want to become stronger, we're going to have to challenge other kingdoms to battle. I think the time has come for us to make our move. And that is where we are going to leave this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching this first episode of Pokemon Conquest. I almost said Colosseum then, it's not Colosseum, it's Conquest. Um, thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please, if you have enjoyed it, leave a like down below, subscribe. I will be uploading Pokemon Conquest uh, three times a week for the length of the game. It's not a very long game, but yeah, you'll get it three times a week. So, yeah, please, subscribe if you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys.